what, what's Haley gonna do? <laughs> like, I mean, what, I mean you know. Same thing she's been doing, why stop? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess that's right. I mean, I guess the money keeps rolling in, uh. right? If you can still continue to fundraise. It doesn't cost her anything to keep campaigning. She doesn't that's have right. another job. Nope, it's true. I mean, the point of I guess if you win a state, I mean, I guess I'm just sort of like running the math on the outcome here. Well, what are, what are the reasons to run for president? People run for president to win, president to win the presidency. Yeah. People run for other reasons, yeah. too. Yeah. Right? I don't think that any of the third-party candidates, for example, that we have ever had ever thought they were actually going to become president, except perhaps for Ross Perot and Teddy Roosevelt. But, I mean, we're never going to... You can't necessarily get into the mind here, but we can see you, the effect of our candidacy, you know what which I is keeping legitimately... Like, keeping trusted Republican voices about Donald Trump in the mix while Donald Trump runs for the president. I, I always think about this moment in the Dick Cheney biography uh, which, where it describes his first big job in government, which is which is chief of staff in the White House. Very, very young, Gerald Ford. And basically, there's this enormous vacuum that opens up, which is that all the Nixon people, you know, they get raptured. They get, they get thrown in jail. They get, and then all of a sudden, you got a government to run, and you need Republicans, and you need Republicans to run that government who don't, aren't Nixon people, because all the Nixon people are gone and discredited. And so a very young Dick Cheney and Donald Rumsfeld and a whole bunch of people come into this government and get their start in Republican politics then. And they, they do, they, you know, Cheney has, they have very powerful jobs above what they would normally have because of that. And I do wonder, like, there's always some possibility of the rapture with Donald Trump <laughs> of the thing of the thing just imploding. It never does happen. There's expectations for it happening, but there is some universe you can you can conjure. Not that it's not that difficult to conjure in which, say, a second defeat this time around really does like purge it from the party in some way, or there is some power vacuum that then the people standing around, it's like, well, Nikki Haley's standing around. Yes. Right? Because I'm the one who got the most votes next to him. I'm the I'm the familiar face. I raised my all of my, you know, uh, name recognition and my profile and my donor list and all this stuff. And if the rapture happens, like I'm I'm there. And I have to say, like if you take Nikki Haley at her word and you listen to her about why she's staying in the race, the cost of her staying in the race is negative. The media is asking her all the time, why don't you get out? People are asking her all the time, why don't you get out? When right. you're going to get out, why should she get yeah, out? Yeah, exactly. What is the cost well, to her of staying yeah. in? If she, unless she's trying to elect Donald Trump, which she is not trying to do, yeah. she may be hurting the prospects of. I mean, right now she's not. Well, I would say two things that make it interesting for her to stay in longer. W one, she continues to be a place for Republicans to say they want to go other than Trump and stay Republicans. Yes, right? yes. running yep. as a Republican, mm -hmm. not running yep. as, yep. as a Democrat, not running as a Biden, not running as an Independent. But two, because Trump believes in nothing and no one except winning, the longer she stays around, he may try to do a deal. All right, get out and you can be my number two. I mean, it does become more interesting to have her in longer. Yeah, and, and, then, none, and none of that is, and, and none of, nothing gets harder from her from here on out except Correct. getting no, asked this question correct. more often.